Okay, today we're tackling the oil change on our BMW F850 GS. Now, I know clean bikes make more attractive videos, but I'm a busy guy. So when I get a day off, I'm busy riding, not cleaning. That being said, let's get started. You can do this with the bike on the single stand or on the double stand, whichever you prefer. Get yourself a pan that fits underneath there. And right under here, you're gonna see your drain plug right in the middle of the skid plate there. Get yourself a T50 torque socket and go ahead and remove that primary plug. Make sure you drove the bike a little bit, get this oil warmed up. I think that helps drain more of the oil out. And it also helps to pull the fill dipstick so you don't get that glug, glug, glug. That way air can go in as the oil's coming out. So next up inside there, you have a secondary drain plug. That's gonna be a five millimeter hex. So go ahead and remove that. And once we have this out, we're gonna see more oil come out there. Got quite a bit up in there still. And there's that smaller secondary plug. Once all that's drained out, go ahead and replace that secondary plug. And you're gonna to torque this to seven foot pounds. If you're using an inch pound torque wrench like I am here, that's gonna be 84 inch pounds. So before we replace our primary drain plug, go ahead and clean off the end here. You might have some stuff stuck to that magnet. And then it's highly advised you replace the crush washer as well. Put a new crush washer on there. And then this will be torqued to 14 foot pounds. If you're using an inch pound torque wrench, this is gonna be 168 inch pounds. And now we're ready to remove our oil filter. So you'll see the oil filter here on the right side of the bike. It's advised that you put a piece of foil in there, junk mail, whatever else you have in there. That'll cover the exhaust here so we don't drip oil on that and have it burning off later. Make it a mess. If you're using the K&N style filter I have here, it's gonna be a 17 millimeter socket. I really advise this. Your factory oil filter's not gonna have this, but aftermarket, I would buy this because it is a very tight fit. And so with the socket option, it's a lot nicer. If you still have your stock oil filter or if your oil filter doesn't have this option, you're gonna need this filter here. I got this on Amazon, Motive X Tools MX2323. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you see shiny metal where the old oil filter was. Make sure the rubber gasket's not still on there. If it is, pull that off. You don't want to have a double gasket, the old one plus the new one, so make sure that's off of there. Just put a thin coating of oil around the new gasket so that we get a good seal. And go ahead and install the new oil filter. Now ordinarily you would put that on as tight as you can by hand and then a quarter turn with the ratchet, but this being such a tight fit you can't really get in there, just snug it down pretty good. You don't need to go crazy on it. Once that's done, go ahead and get our junk mail out of there. And thank the local car dealership for their support in supplying us the junk mail. Now we're ready to fill this up with some nice clean oil. Let's go to the other side of the bike. So right here's our oil fill and dipstick right above your shifter pedal. So go ahead and remove that. Get yourself a handy dandy funnel. And we are going to be using 5W40 oil. I personally use uh, the Castrol Power One. Doesn't really much matter what brand you get, but 5W40 is the recommended viscosity. Start off by putting in three quarts and then we're gonna stop there and get a measurement. So once we have our three quarts in there, that's three liters for our UK friends watching, who no doubt run these bikes about 10 times harder than us Americans. We are going to replace our dipstick, start the bike up and let it run for about 30 seconds just to get oil all throughout the system and into that oil filter. And then we'll get a uh, measurement. 
So once the bike's run for about 30 seconds, go ahead and pull your dipstick out, clean it off, and then put it back in for another reading. Now on here, before I put that in, let me show you where we're looking. It clearly says max on one end and min on the other. So we want it right up here at that notch. And it looks like we're right on the money. So this should take anywhere between three, maybe three and a half quarts at most. And that's all there is to it. Really hope this video helped you out. If it did, please hit the video with a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm always wrecking and breaking this bike. So there's always lots of new stuff to come for your BMW GS. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support.